Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. And I got a vintage Lego set today that we're going to be looking at. I think it's complete now. I'm trusting the Bricklink inventory to be correct. So there's always a possibility that that's wrong. But uh, this is set 814, which is a gear farm set. It's It highlights the old gears that Lego had. And there's something interesting here as I'm looking at this. The rubber band is actually a different color than I've seen in Lego pieces. I wonder if that's prototype. So anyway, this set um, I bought, it came from that auction, not auction, the Bricklink order. <laughs> I'm thinking eBay. It came from Bricklink and a really good seller. Uh, it was only missing two pieces and there's one that's maybe the wrong mold. I'm not sure, but it had all the rare parts. The two pieces it was actually missing were these two. This uh, two by two yellow brick and a one by one round uh, brick with solid stud. Uh, everything else was there, including the parts I was worried that wouldn't be there. And I did post this on Instagram. Is this Lego? It is Lego. It goes on the underside here. So I got to figure out how all that connects. Uh, these are actually parts that apparently fall off easy. And I'm just assuming, based on what I have seen listed on various sites including Bricklink uh, because usually these pieces are missing or the person that has this piece doesn't know that they're missing <laughs> so if, I, if you're ever buying this part on Bricklink <laughs> or any site you want to see the bottom <laughs> because these two parts are supposed to be in there because um, it's the steering mechanism for this it's a working uh, steering thing so I'm going to try to put this thing together uh, to get this all working but it makes this little maxi figure set this tractor and that's the main reason i clicked all the sets that have these guys in them and this was one of the hard ones for me to get um there's not a lot of a lot of them out there i don't have the box for this set and so yeah it had a very rare element in it <laughs> yeah so yeah we got it and now i'm going to build it it's kind of give you an overview of what parts it's one of those things where you could just like piece it together pretty easily except for this part with its two little pieces some of the older pieces might be harder to find but they're not necessarily rare like the yellow i mean the yellow the milky white axles uh, these little parts i mean they're not super rare they're just not made anymore and here's the one that i had with a different mold i think it's supposed to be the open stud like this with the logo deep inside i got one like this i don't think it'll matter as far as the build and as i build it i'll see if i can hide it in the build i don't know if i'll be able to or not uh, but yeah so pre pretty common parts not too, except for like uh, just a couple of them and especially this one did I, did I say I like vintage Lego? So here's the instructions. Um, we'll make some kind of farm equipment with this. Uh, this is uh, The box, I think, would have been a, a box like this. I think it's kind of a really dark green here. So that's what the box would have kind of looked like, even though this is for some other sets, 810 and 811. And here's some alternate builds. we got a little dragster, another tractor, another tractor. Another tractor. They like tractors. I guess it's, <laughs> it's a tractor set. So I'm going to see if I can build this thing and get these pieces connected back up here on this. And I'm thinking, I think this piece goes in there. And this piece goes, oh, this is going to be tough. Hmm. So I had to get one that isn't broke to kind of get an idea of how this thing connects. So it's going to use this piece, which I think this is going to go into there. And then the little teeth of this go there. So I got it now. I think I see how to do it. So this is going to go here. Oh, this is going to be tough. How am I going to do this? Man. So these two go in the front. This, I think, will go like that. Right, let's see if I can do this. It's hard to get it in there. And I wonder if that's going to go in there. 
That's that's got to go down. I need tweezers or something. Let gravity be my partner here. So that goes in there like that. Uh oh. Nope. I can't turn it the other way. Oh, I'm going to end up breaking this. I think I had it one tooth over too much. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> so let's center this up and then try to put that right in. Oh, it's did, didn't. Dang it. <laughs> this is harder than it, it, or as hard as it looks. Maybe why it came apart, uh, separate in the... I need tweezers, Charlie. <laughs> I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Finally got it in there off camera. <laughs> so this goes like that, and so... This needs to go in there, like like so. There we go. And so now we got the steering mechanism. Yay! So that would not work without those two little pieces. So I'm looking at this, and the place that this brick can most likely be hidden is here. I really should probably replace it later, so I'm going to put it there on this build. It's a pretty simple build. Um... Like this, the Lego logo. I love the classic old Lego logo. What do you think of that? I just like that. So I'll finish building this up. I won't bore you with a time lapse too much. So this is like Technic before there was Technic. This again, this is 1975. So it's the Technic axle, but it's milky white. So yeah, very interesting little build there there and the little brick hole these brick holders precursor to technic just uh, a neat little thing so he's going to be a farmer not a boy so let's see here i think i need hmm need that two by two brick there it is he's just tractor man he's just built right into the tractor there <laughs> there we go tractor man and we get automatic, well not automatic steering, but you see what I'm talking about. He can steer like this. Isn't that neat? And it's all because of the little mechanism there that is easily lost. These aren't the easiest instructions to follow. And I'm going to try the little cart thing in the back. And there's the rubber band. I think they got it. Just, you got to hang it over here temporarily during that step. That's not actually where this rubber band's going to go. Not the most free rolling thing. Unrelated to the set, but what is it with you Europeans and you like hole punching stuff? I have bought so many instruction manuals that have been hole punched, where I guess they put it in like a little binder. Why? Why do you do this? And it's not uncommon. It's like very common. Um, rant over. It's a little harvester combine thingy here. It's going to go on it. Are they really going to be just sticking this axle in this hole like that to turn that? Is that how that's going to work? That almost seems like an illegal build. But that's what they're showing right there. Hmm. I just noticed something as I was snapping this. This 2x3 has the old logo on there. Which I don't think would have still been around in 1975. But that's okay with me. I can change that out later. I think it's cellulose acetate. It's hard to tell. Oh, check it out. That is so neat. I'm easily impressed, though. <laughs> so this connects right there. Uh-oh. Not the strongest connection. I'm trying. Okay. Whew. There we go. 
Could be a farming accident waiting to happen. Oh no! Should the hair comes flying out. What do you think? Get a nice little pose here. What do you think of this old set? I know it's not as cool as some of the sets of today, but making use of the limited part availability and then the cutting edge stuff, this pre-technic technic stuff, using the maxi figures, having the operating steering going on, that's pretty cool. And then, then uh-oh, did I mess that up? No, it's still working. <laughs> this little harvester is pretty neat. Oh, look at it go. A farming accident waiting to happen. I probably built it wrong. But that almost just, to me, that just feels like an illegal technique. An axle sticking right in the bottom of a 2x2 two two brick. I don't, I don't think I've seen that before. And I've built a lot of old sets. I can't ever recall using the hole in the tube on the underside of a brick for an axle. But I guess it technically could be done. Um, and there are probably other examples of it. I just don't recall it. But I hope you enjoyed a look at a vintage Lego set, set 814 from 1975. That marks off another maxi figure set off of my list. I am working and getting all of these little guys. And of course, you can change his hair out. When he's off work, he likes to keep his hair slick. But right after taking his hat off, this is actually what it looks like. That's why he wears the hat. But anyway, that's the complete set. The farm, the gear farm set. Uh, a nice little vintage set. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Have you ever seen these types of techniques? Is there any part you saw here that you never saw before? Um, I hope you learned something. Or if you already knew all this stuff, stuff I hope you enjoyed the, the video. I hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Sprigs are.